Hello and welcome to the Inspiring Life School podcast. This is your host, Francis Fidikovic, and on this podcast, I'll be sharing with you the most valuable strategies to live your one wildly beautiful and most precious life, because this is it, my friend. In case you haven't guessed, when it comes to life, there's no rewind or pause button that exists. They say that the way that you spend your days is the way that you spend your life. So my one and only goal here is to help you stop wasting your time, stop holding yourself back in life, stop experiencing non-stop negative mind chatter, stop just dreaming without doing, and start living life fearlessly instead with more purpose, focus, and intention. I sincerely want you to live life in a way that when you come to the end of it, you know deep down in your heart that you 100% gave it your all, flaws and all. This podcast is not about doing life perfectly. Instead, it is about experiencing and living life with more clarity and courage and truly appreciating this precious adventure that we are so blessed to be on. So if you're with me here today, it's time to stop spinning in circles, get off the hamster wheel for good, put your hands back on the steering wheel of your life, and finally start living life in a way that you won't later regret. With that being said, let's dive on in. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Inspiring Life School podcast. I'm your host, Francis Vitakovic, and today's episode is going to be a little bit of an unusual one because it's something that at first glance, not everyone is going to agree with when I say that a simple life can be pretty fabulous, pretty fun, and this is something I feel really strongly about. So let me explain to you exactly what I mean. So the first place I think we need to start is by defining the word simple, and my favorite definition is this, something that is very straightforward in form, nature, or design, easily understood and done and presents no real difficulty. Now, when it comes to speaking about the opposite of simple in respect to our life, you could probably say that the alternative would be something that's really complex, complicated, and demanding. But the word that usually comes to my mind is drama. So can you remember what it was like when you were younger? Okay, probably when you were a teenager, an early adult, and back then we probably used to thrive on that drama. No one really wanted to live a simple life back then, okay? We all considered simple to be really boring. We love the action. We love the chaos, like, you know, going out and liking someone who, you know, did they like us back? And then people, everyone would be playing all these weird games. Uh, there was gossip and drama, always something exciting happening whenever we went out. That was how we lived our life. And when I say games, I probably should say, like, I didn't mean Monopoly. I meant, like, all those mind games. And I know definitely when I was young, like, all this drama in my late teens and early 20s like surrounding us it was never really an issue because that's when life felt really exciting because random things were always happening were all so spontaneous never knowing what was going to transpire whenever we went out that night and we thought that drama equaled fun even though it was never really fun if you were in the middle of it. But to a bystander looking on, it always made you feel like you were in some crazy TV show like Melrose Place. And I always reference Melrose Place when I talk about my youth because that was a big show that we used to all watch together back when I was at university. And so had you said to me when I was 18 or 20 or 22, did I want to live a really simple life? I would have said, gosh, no way. You know, simple is boring. Simple is definitely not fun. So fast forward 25 or so years close to 30 years, I'm here today recording a podcast episode on why the simple life is potentially lots of fun, definitely not boring. And I don't know whether this applies, this advice applies just to people who are older than 30 or 40. So I definitely love to know your take on this, but right now my life is pretty much as simple as it gets. Like I wake up and while the kids get ready for school, I'll always read, I'll journal before I begin my day. I go for these two long walks a day with the dogs, unless I'm going to the gym. I speak to my loved ones whenever I go for my walks because that's the time that I return my calls. All very like predictable. I prepare dinner before the kids come home so I don't have to waste any time in the kitchen in the late afternoons. I have this general plan, always what I want to work on in my business. And then once my work waits, day is done. So that's usually around three o'clock. I put my laptop away. I spend time with my family. Most day there's an activity on after school. And then at night we relax, we chat, we hang out, maybe watch a movie. I'll read more. I'll tidy up. And then I'll do my best to get into bed before 10 o'clock. Okay. My goal is always to be asleep by 10. doesn't always work out, but that's my plan. And so come the weekend, our days are filled with either chill time or spending time with family and friends. And Monday then rocks up and it's the same thing again, week after week, after week. Okay. Unless like we've got a special trip plan. Now I know that someone could say that this simplicity is pretty boring because it's predictable. And I'm here to say that there is so much more joy and peace to be found even in the mundane activities. And 
I love it. Like I genuinely love that I've gotten so good at removing all the crap from my life, like all the things that I don't love because this equals less drama for me. So I'm going to share with you an example. Like I definitely have decided that I don't want to waste any of my precious time on drama that comes from being involved in toxic relationships, whether it's with a friend or a family member. And I'm sure that we've all experienced this at some point in our life. Like we've all had a friend or someone in our life that they're always embroiled in some crazy drama and then you get brought into it because the moment, you know, you're having a conversation with them, they're like giving it all, laying it on top of your shoulders. You're listening to their stories. They're heaping all their crap on you. You get involved, like you get invested. You want to help them. And then they just ignore your advice. And then when they walk away from the conversation, they always feel like a million times better. But you feel like as if you've taken on their drama, like you're feeling pretty shitty now. And then you go and bring it into your own home because you're starting to complain about it with someone else, usually your partner. And even though like we often forget that we can set some really clear and simple boundaries in our life and refuse to get into that pool of drama with them. So that is what I've had to do, like in order to simplify my life. I prefer personally that my relationships are really simple and healthy, not only with my partner and my kids, my husband and my kids, but with my friends and my family. My goal is to keep things as simple and healthy as possible in every area of my life. I want to keep my exercise routine super simple. I want to eat really simple food. I want my work to be simple. Same goes for my evening and morning routines. I want them to be really simple. Same when it comes to keeping my home super tidy and organized. The goal is always to keep it as simple as possible and not filled with any drama. Now, I have to say this definitely been times in my life when I've experienced drama. Of course, like I'm a human. Sometimes the drama is external and it seeps into my life because I've allowed it to because other people have brought it into my life and I haven't really set those clear boundaries. And other times the drama is internal because I have these expectations about myself and others that aren't being met. And we all know what happens when we have really rigid rather than flexible expectations about life and how it should go is that you tend to experience more negative emotions than is really necessary. So you may be wondering, okay, so you love this simple life and you're advocating for it. Well, how do you create it for yourself? So the first step is to assume that there could be a potentially simpler way to do things, a way, an easier way that you might not have ever considered before. So number one, you definitely have to start by removing the things that you don't like or need from your life. This is just, you know, really simple common sense. Okay. If you don't like it and you don't need it, why are you holding on to it? Let it go. Just like you would declutter your home. I want you to get really good at practicing decluttering every single area of your life. I want you to identify your priorities and make sure that they're scheduled into your calendar. If you say something is really important to you and you don't make time for it, let's just say like with our health, we always say, well, our priorities, our health, and then we continue to eat really crap and we don't exercise like what's going on there. Okay. Prioritize the things that are important to you, because here's the thing that's going to really surprise you when you make it your goal to keep your life really simple, super simple, is that you're going to discover that it becomes so much more fun because you've created for yourself this space that you can have fun. And even though all my relationships with my loved ones and friends are really simple and they're not complicated at all, we have so much more fun together because we've got that room to breathe. Okay. There's zero drama. I also have so much more fun in my business and in my free time, which is not to say that I don't ever experience challenges and obstacles because, you know, news alert, I'm a normal human. So of course I'm going to experience obstacles and challenges and so forth. But the way that you show up when you've kept your life really drama free and simple is with a lot more grace a lot more resilience, a lot more strength, okay? Because my energy isn't being seeped by all that other drama, which I've already removed from my life, okay? When you remove the drama from your life, your life has a completely different vibe because you're no longer feeling really crappy all the time because, you know, so-and-so did something and now you're embroiled in some big thing that isn't worth your time and energy. Seriously, like, I feel like I'm way too old for that. Give me boring, give me simple any day over drama because this is what has helped me learn to stay really calm in my life this predictability of knowing who I can turn to and who I can depend on, including myself, knowing what my days are going to look like. And, you know, there's so much comfort in that without feeling like I'm in the middle of an insipid, you know, reality TV show where your mind can't even sleep at night. I don't want that. I don't want that to be my goal. That has never been the sort of life that I aspire to have. And if someone ever tells you that your life is potentially really boring or simple, I would take that as a compliment. Like, excellent. You say that my life is really simple. I love that because this simple, ordinary life is the best canvas that you can create for yourself 
in order to then inject a little drama-free fun into it. I personally love not having drama with my husband, with my kids. No, having, I don't have any drama with my work. I don't have any drama with my loved ones and friends. And that's only because I've chosen to create a drama-free life for myself by refusing to partake in unnecessary drama. I refuse to indulge in it. And honestly, I have way more important things to do with my time. And this decision for me is really simple. Okay. In order to create a simple life for yourself, that's a void of drama. You need to make that simple decision. And if you want to dive in even deeper into this work of managing your time really well and making sure that your days and months and weeks are filled with the things that are most important to you, I encourage you to check out my course, Take Back Your Time, which you're going to find under the shop tab on my website, Inspiring Mum Life. I cannot rave about this course enough and truly every single person in the world is going to benefit from having more time because this is what this course teaches you to do, how to gain back five hours of your week every single week to spend on you and your goals, no matter how busy you are. And so that's it for today's episode, my friends. I love and appreciate you all. And until next time, much love. And I cannot wait to catch up with you on the next episode. Thank you so much for listening to the Inspiring Life School podcast. I really appreciate you allowing me to be a part of your life. If you'd love to stay in touch, please know that you can always find me on Instagram at Francis Vitakovic, or you can visit my website, inspiringmumlife.com, where you can sign up and receive so many amazing freebies that I've created just for you to help you implement all my teachings into practice. There you'll also find all my online courses, resources, and programs that I've created to help you uplift your life in seriously the simplest way possible so that you can ultimately create for yourself a life that feels simpler, lighter, and allows you to show up in a way that you love as your best and most authentic version of yourself. Now, remember, this podcast is all about not just dreaming, but also doing because to create true sustainable change in your life, you need to be willing to do things differently. And that's what I'm here to support you to do every single step along the way so that you too can begin to live your one wild and precious life with less stress, less overwhelm, less drama, and instead with zero regrets. Finally, if this podcast resonates with you at all and you appreciate the content, I would absolutely love for you to show your support by leaving me a review on Apple Podcasts. I'm on a mission to help more people wake up to the preciousness of life and to help them live their days with more intention and purpose, and your review will help make this goal of mine possible. Once again, thank you so much. I have loved spending this time with you, and I look forward to connecting with you again. I am Frances Vitakovic, and you have been listening to the Inspire Life School Podcast.